Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we are learning about a little tiny angelfish. One of the pygmy angels. This is called the flameback angelfish, or as other people like to call them, the African pygmy angel, or even the orangeback angelfish. Very pretty guy. Prices on them, you'll spend a solid $50 on them. I was looking around online, and they're even higher than that. Some prices were up to $60 and $70, but you can understand because he's got to come all the way from Africa, so shipping was not cheap on this guy. Tank size, you need about a 55 gallon for them to really thrive out, but I've seen plenty of them in little bitty 30 gallon reef tanks thriving, doing well in there, so you could put them in a smaller tank, but I would recommend if you're wanting to put more than one angelfish in a tank that you do need a bigger tank, probably like a 75, so just kind of think about that before you pick just one. Care level, he is moderate, and the only reason for that is because he does have a little bit of a different diet. He does also eat algae, Temper, he is semi-aggressive, he is an angel, he will hold his own against other fish. He's not going to let anybody beat him up, and he can become a little territorial once he's accustomed in the tank, but he is also a little shy. You're not going to see him run around in the open all the time unless it's feeding. He normally likes to stay up in the rocks, swimming throughout the caves. Reef compatible, definitely with caution. If it's me, I don't trust an angel in a reef tank. But if you just have to have this little guy in there, I would recommend that you stay away from SPS corals, polyps, and even some clam mantles. He tends to pick at those, so just kind of look at your coral in your tank and see if you can have this guy in there because a lot of times they do nip at those. Temperature, keep it 72 to 78. 78 is the best. That's your prime number to hit. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. We normally run our tanks at 2.3 to 2.4, that's like right on the dot. Diet, he is an omnivore, he will eat all kinds of stuff. Brine and mysis, little cubes are good things to feed him. Spirulina is like the perfect thing you could feed him because it also has the algae already in it, mixed up with mysis shrimp, so that's really good. Also, you could feed him flakes and pellets. And like I said, he does need algae, so you will need to be putting some algae on there on a clip. I normally feed them once a day, but if you have to, at least be feeding them three, four times a week. Feed them some algae because that's going to keep his colors really, really pretty, and it's also going to keep any diseases off of them because we always want to avoid that. Max size, three inches. Like I said, he is the pygmy angel. You see other angels, they'll be hitting like a foot long, but this guy does stay relatively small. Compatibility, just ask, like I said, if you do want to put more than one angel in a tank, make sure to get a bigger tank. The only reason for that is because they get territorial over the tank. So you get a little 30 gallon, he's probably going to control the whole thing. But if you put him in something like a 75 gallon, he has a little bit more room to not be in control over. Color, real bright orange with this really dark blue going down him. Very hard colors to find on fish like this, especially orange. Origin, they do come from Africa. Like I said, that's probably another reason why these guys are a little bit more expensive because they come from very far away. Other than that, make sure you have plenty of live rock, plenty of caves built up for him to swim around in. He needs plenty of live rock too because he likes to nip on the rocks looking for algae and other kinds of food. So make sure you have plenty of room for that, for him to run around and nip on. That'll keep him really happy. But other than that, I think we hit every point we can on the flameback angelfish. And if you're looking to get any other kind of pygmy angels that I have not posted, this is a really good kind of overall broad take on a pygmy angel. So you can pretty much use this guy for other pygmy angels. But if you still have some other questions on him, please leave them down below. Let us know how he's doing. If you have him in a reef tank, we definitely need to know what cores you have and see if he's been picking at them. I will see you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe. And today is a double feature, so we will be hitting another episode in just a little bit.